In this video, let's talk about functions, what they are, what the main types of functions are. In math, a function is a relation between two quantities when, for every input, there is only one possible output. For example, if you think of a vending machine, you input the code That code is unique to the item that you want the machine to produce. Then the machine reads the code, recognizes that that code relates to only that one specific item, and it produces the item for you. So the code is the input or your independent variable of a function, and the item is the output or the dependent variable of the function. There are several types of functions and uh, they all work the same way. I mean, according to the same principle, there is a special notation identifying that the relation is a function. We're used to seeing this, y equals something, say 2x plus three. This is a linear relation, right? But when we know for sure that the relation is a function, we can use f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. That means function of x. One of the most basic functions is a linear function. For every input, there is a unique output. The graph of the linear function is just a straight line that goes through the origin. So, um, if you take uh, a value of x, for example, if x is one, there is only one unique value of y that corresponds to this x. And if x is five, for example, there's only one unique value of five that corresponds to it. If I create a number of vertical lines passing through this line, then for every x, there will be only one possible y value. This is called a vertical line test, and we can use it to test if the relation is a function every time. When you see a graph and you want to know if the relation is a function, draw a number of vertical lines and see if for every x, there is only one corresponding y value. Another type of function that we're going to look at is a quadratic function. This is a basic equation of a quadratic function. And for every input, there is a unique output. However, I'll show you something else that happens here. So see how for x equals positive one and for x equals negative one, the y value is one. So you could have different x values for the same y, but you cannot have two different y values for the same x. So in this case, the quadratic relation uh, graph is a parabola. It's symmetric and about the y-axis, uh, about a line, it, it has a line symmetry. And there are two x values, negative one and positive one, that result in the same y value. However, it would not be a function if you had two different y values corresponding to one and the same x value. Another type of function is a cubic function. For every input, there is a unique output. The graph of a cubic function is like this. This graph is symmetric about the origin. It goes through the origin, zero, zero. And it is a function because for every input, there is a unique output. Next, we're going to look at the root function. It looks like this. It's like a portion of a parabola, a portion of a quadratic function. So this is because the root function is an inverse function to the quadratic function, but we only keep one piece because if I kept both pieces of the parabola like this, and I would have plus or minus here, then the relation would not be a function. I would have 
one x corresponding to two different y values. And that would make my relation not a function. I cannot allow that. I want it to be a function. Therefore, I will have to keep only one of the portions of the graph. In this case, it's the positive portion plus root of x. This type of function is an exponential function. It grows very fast and it has an asymptote. An asymptote is at zero. It's the line that the function approaches but doesn't touch. And the y-intercept is one. In this case, the variable, the independent variable is in the exponent. And there is still a unique output for every input. So this is an exponential function. This type of function is called a rational function. The variable is in the denominator and there will be a restriction on it, of course. X cannot equal zero. Therefore, there is an asymptote at zero. The, there are two pieces to the graph of this function because there is also a horizontal asymptote of zero. So then the pieces will be here and here and the graph of this uh, function will look like this, roughly, it's a sketch. This function is an absolute value function. No matter what value you input, positive or negative, the output will still be positive. The graph of the function looks like this. This is a trigonometric function or periodic function, y equals sine x. This, uh, is, this function is based on a trig ratio. Let's sketch it. Since, since this function is periodic, its graph is going to look like a periodic wave that repeats on and on and on and on. And again, for every x, there is one unique y value here or here. Right, so this is still a function. It's a periodic function, y equals sine x.